8.45 a.m. <laughs> That's funny. I was supposed to wake up at 8 o'clock. <laughs> My interview with that animation department is in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh no! I forgot to set the alarm! Where's my suitcase? Yay! Yay! Yeah. Why is it so heavy? Oh, forget it. The keys! I schedule an interview at an animation department, and the very day the interview is scheduled, I oversleep! How could this get any worse? Ah! Move it! I have an interview to get to! Where is that department? on this map! Ah, here it is. All right, all I have to do now is go straight ahead and I'll be at that department in no time. I just hope nothing gets in my path. Wait, that can't be right! This map is confusing me. The animation department was supposed to be straight ahead. Which way do I go? No. It should be right here. Oh, now I see. I have to turn down! Mr. Littlemore was supposed to arrive a minute ago for his interview. Do you know where he is? Am I on time, sir? Well, if the interview was at 9.01 instead of 9 o'clock, you would have, Mr. Littlemore. So you want a job at animation? Of course. It's been my dream since I was six. Over the years, my imagination has led me to a wonderful concept. An animated slapstick comedy variety cartoon show with different groups of characters in different segments. I have ideas that will knock your socks off. I hope you don't mean that literally. The last person who touched my socks ended up in the emergency room. What? Ha! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good one. Have you created any cartoon characters of some sort? Of course, lots of sorts. 320 characters to be exact. Hmm, 320? You must be a busy man. Yes sir, I am. I believe I have pictures of them in my suitcase. Heavy pictures, huh? I just put pictures in here. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> what was that? What was what? <laughs> oh no. Is something or someone in that suitcase? Oh no! You are hearing things. Running an animation company can be very tough on some people. They could start going insane. I'm not calling you crazy, I'm just... <laughs> I assure you, there is nothing in this suitcase. Oh no! Go! 
Get back here! Wait till I get my hands on you! I'll be with you in a moment. Quick, I'm here. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Wait a minute! Where are you, you little monster? <laughs> huh? The display was funny. It amused me greatly. Why, thank you. That's what we do best. Oh! <sighs> I am so sorry. These are two of my characters, Tanya and Timmy. The pranksters. They must be best friends, huh? Well, yes. They're just friends, or are they... <laughs> more than that? Just friends! We're just friends! Well, I'm terribly sorry about them wreaking havoc. I'll pay for any damage that- Don't be sorry. That kind of comedic genius is exactly what we need. I think you might be perfect here. Really? Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. There's just one problem. Well, that killed his happiness. What's the problem? Whatever it is, I can handle it. Is it too much humor or not enough humor? You seem to have an easily triggered temper. What? Your anger issues? Oh, that. <laughs> that doesn't happen a lot. He's right. It only happens every five minutes. Every day! 24-7. Gee, I wonder why. Well, it's a small problem. Yeah? I don't like small problems. But I don't blame you. I used to have a nasty temper, too. That's how I got the name Mr. Rage. But that's all behind me. Johnson! Galloway! Why aren't those in the file cabinet? <laughs> But yeah, your temper's a problem. In fact, when you blew up at those tiger cubs after their hilarious act, you went through strike two, and I'm a three-strike man. Well, I can assure you, it won't happen in get- wait, strike two? What was strike one? You were ranting about your destroyed car before you came in. Yeah, you freaked out pretty bad, and we may have learned some new words. Well, I can help you. What's this? It's a stress ball. Whenever you feel like you're gonna blow, start squeezing it and you'll feel much better. Alright, is that all? Not quite. I'm going to be sending an inspector to come check up on you later today, so that he can make sure that you keep your cool. Sounds okay. I accept. Oh joy! Signature here, initial here, address here, and phone number here. Good! You're all set. I'll probably see you next month. Good! You have a nice day. And remember, I said probably. One more strike, and you're out. Y yes sir. So, do you think we can fix this baby up and take her on home? Or we could take a bus. <laughs> I don't see what you're so mad about. You stowing away in my suitcase again, after I told you dozens of times not to. You got yourself that second strike by losing your temper. Oh, please. I wouldn't have even lost my temper if it wasn't for you. But if it wasn't for us? That CEO never would have seen how funny we were. You wouldn't have had a chance if we didn't stow away. Well, maybe I... It... But... Uh... Alright, you got me. Just promise that you won't do anything to cause me to lose my temper. We promise. I honestly cannot believe that you're lying to me right now. Yeah, so? Ow! Ugh, I can't stay mad at you two. You're just kids. But I must say, you two know how to make a man laugh. Yeah, that's what we were created to do. Here's the bus. Does that mean we have to get back in the suitcase? 
Remember what happened the last time I let you loose on a bus? Oh yeah. You think that's what caused all those fire trucks? I don't think I know. That driver is still sending me his therapy bills. You know, you should really get a bigger suitcase. Yeah, with a TV! In your dreams. Crud, I lost my keys. We're locked out. I've gotta call a locksmith. Ugh, my phone's dead. I'm gonna have to go through the chimney again. Well, you could. Or you could use your keys. It's a good thing he only saw you two. That situation would have gotten crazier if he saw the other characters. Now, why would you think that? Hey, Matthew. How was the interview? Why don't you take a look at the half-man, half-camel and ask me that question again? I dare you.